Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? I'm Johnny Johnny, bringing you guys a video on how to split clips and add transitions or just video effects. So, first, you want to make sure you have your clip uh, or shot or whatever you want to make, uh, whatever you want to split and add effects to. So, I have this uh, random, uh, like, 360 no scope. So, what I want to do is I'm gonna first go to the audio and hit U and then delete so it's going to get rid of the whole audio track just so I don't have to deal with it at the moment then I'm going to find where I hit the shot oh, let me move my mic where I hit the shot and then now uh, we're going to go ahead and split it so it looks like right here I'm going to split it and then I'm going to do it again just delete this whole thing and I'm gonna hold control and you see how it's a little squiggly you're gonna drag this as far as it'll let you and then uh, if you go back and preview it it's gonna it's gonna slow the shot down uh, that's an easier way than using the twixter video effect uh, it doesn't slow it down a bunch but it slows down a little bit so um, that's a good time to add an effect so we we can add an effect right there alright so we will look for a good effect let's see what we can find that's transitions we want to find a good effect let's see what do we have here we have lens flare rays let's see what this does we see if it looks alright um that looks okay let's see what happens if we uh, do this animate that and we'll go ahead and for that one and then we'll go to the next one and you double click and you increase the threshold in the amount Increase the amount, increase or decrease the thresh. Go to the next one, increase the amount, decrease the thresh, and then for last keyframe, you just want to like completely white it out. So, see what that looks like so far. All right, so we're gonna jump up here. We're gonna hit the shot out as it slows down. It's gonna kind of fade into a more a light and then that's gonna fade out so it's not looking too shabby it actually looks pretty good for just a random effect uh, so now we can go ahead and we can like we can do this and once he jumps we can split it Let's split that and then We can drag that out and drag this out. We can slow this down a little bit. And then when it fades back in, which we'll do this, we we'll hit an S on here. Oops. Hit S, go to this, and then add a transition we can go transitions click X on this uh, let's see let's add that in there Alright, let's see what this looks like. I don't know what it's going to look like, to be honest. Alright, we got to watch it again. I don't know what, what happened there.
we got to adjust that a little bit more. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just trying to concentrate. So what you want to do is drag out the zoom here. And uh, it's going to bring it in right there. Bang. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, I'm going to render it out and show you guys. I hope you guys could catch up on that. I know I wasn't talking a bunch. So I'll go through what I did real quick. Uh, what I did was I hold, held control and made that go a little bit slower. And then for this part, um, as you can see, I'm jumping. And then I had it fade out so that it goes black and then I'm just, I added the transition to show the new clip coming in and that's when I can jump to hit the shot so it's not wasting all that time and then once I hit it the lights come on as I showed you guys a minute ago so if you guys enjoyed and if this helped you out at all let me know in the comments below I'm gonna have a probably a final uh, a final look at what came out after I add some music or something and I'll let you watch that and uh, if you enjoyed make sure you hit the like button if you really enjoyed make sure you subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys enjoyed and what you didn't and what you'd enjoy seeing in the future. And I will see you guys later. Alright, see ya.